Souls, Kyushu92 here. We had another One Piece chapter reaction and review. It is a beautiful Friday morning. There's literally like a big old heavy cloud of fog over my neighborhood that's literally touching the top of the trees. So I'm getting like this this uh, foggy sunlight coming through. It's actually quite nice. But today we got we are finally off from break. Last time we were on break, we were shown that uh, Lady Toki of 20 years ago uh, wife of Ko Kozuki Odin had the ability of the Toki Toki no Mi. Now, someone told me that no, it's abs it can't. It's n it never has been stated that it was a devil fruit that it was uh, to uh, Lady Toki's ability. But she said it's a Toki Toki power. You don't say two words together in the same way with a power on the end in the same sentence without it being a devil fruit ability. So hopefully we get to find out more about it. But I'm I I I. Pretty much, I, I, it's a, it's a, it's a fruit ability. It is. She wouldn't have said my Toki Toki power if it wasn't a fruit. So moving on to 921, Shuten Maru, and on here we have a cover page of Luffy and Zoro, and it's like a color cover page of Weekly Shonen Jump with a Kaido in the background. Now here's one thing I'm wondering: Where is Zoro and? Because last we saw, he was walking off by himself, you know, getting lost, as usual. And he walked over to an area that looked like it had a whole bunch of ships sailing towards this massive factory. It looked like a harbor area. So, I wonder what that's going to play into. Oh, we got a whole new page. Tokyo Girls Collection. And we have a whole bunch of different people here in the front page. We have... Uh, Tashigi, Perona, Robin, Nami, Han Cook, Vivi, Shirohoshi, and Big Mom herself. Hmm, pretty nice cover page. And then we have a uh, rubber arm just stretching out of the distance, grabbing a floating straw hat. While we have Chopper enjoying this. Chopper's pretty much the only one who can be surrounded by all these girls, and they don't mind how close he is. Pretty much. Alright. Chapter 921. Shuten Maru. Oni Demon Shima Island. Okay. So now we'll go back to what uh, Kinemon was saying. The field of our final battle will be Oni Gashima. The base of Kaido and the Hundred Beast Pirates. It's an island? Wouldn't we have to cross the sea to even get there? Even though it's part of Wano? Indeed, which means we need a ship, but because the island is visible from the mainland, we don't need a large galley or sailboat. Hmm. Interesting. And of course, no one else to say anything until Kiko chimes in. The day of our battle will, re will fall on the Fire Festival, the once yearly grand festival of the capital. Kaido is believed to be a radiant king and the protector of this realm. Oh, we get to find out more. On the day of the festival, Orochi and the rest of his shogun pro, uh, procession will travel to Oga Onigashima to pray to Kaido. That is what they'll appear to be. That's what they'll appear to be doing. In reality, the officials of the city and the hundred beast pirates will have a banquet. How many food parties are the Straw Hats gonna ruin in one sitting? First, Big Mom. Now, Kaido. They don't know how to chill. And Ch Sanji uh, chimes in. I see. They'll be drunk and making fools of themselves. And we'll take them all in one fell swoop. Their leader, too. <sighs> Sanji, it is not that easy. Big Mom was a tough opponent, but this is the dude that fell from 10,000 feet and complained about having a headache from the impact of falling headfirst into the ground. And when we and when you see my heroic deeds, Okiku, you m might just fall for me rather than that pervy old samurai. Sanji, Kiku's super strong, you know, huh? Hold on, I almost clicked to the next page. No, no, Sanji, please do not be mistaken. I have a wife of many years. Kiku is merely my comrade. Otsudu's doing well, by the way. You met her? Wait, Otsudu? As in the lady that was taking care of Tama, that's his, that's Kinemon's wife? You met her? Yes, without her realizing. I see. I'm glad that she's well. 
I don't think I can meet her just yet. People that are already married shouldn't be popular with the ladies. No fair. Sanji, you're not one to talk. You're engaged to one of the hottest women from Whole Cake Island. He's still engaged. I mean, the, the wedding hasn't gone off, so he's technically still engaged to pudding. Shut it, says Nami. Now then, I've combined the information of the day of the battle and the meeting place into a design. The day of the fire festival at the second hour of the bird at Habu Harbor. Fire, two birds, and a viper. And the symbol of rebellion, a reverse crescent moon. Huh? Yeah, as usual, uh, Luffy is confused. Don't worry, people that live in Wano will get it. The second hour of the bird in foreign time is between 5.30 and 6 o'clock p.m. We've got to distribute these cards to people that have crescent tattoos on their left legs. Immediately. That mark is the symbol of our rebellion. Those people are our allies. Unfortunately, we don't know where in the country they may be. I've got my friends scattered about to ensure we can get these cards to as many people as we possibly can. Zoro Judo and Nuso Hachi are also participating in carrying out this plan in the capital. Ah, Zoro's probably not done much. Ah, Zoro's probably not done much. Huh? Yeah, he's lost right now. Additionally, to ensure we don't get lost in Nogi Onigashima, I've had Fren uh, Frenos... Fronosuke, Fronosuke, I forgot that was Frankie's cover name. I've had Fronosuke get himself apprenticed to the craftsman that built Kaido's mansion, so he can get the blueprints from him. To accurately track the movements of Orochi's troops, Orobi's become a geisha. She's currently trying to get closer to Orochi. I hear she's made quite the reputation for herself. I want to see Robin as a geisha. Brooke, your power, your power will be useful in gathering food in the capital. Huh? Really? Nami, your weather jutsu is like ninjutsu. You're kunoichi. A female ninja, huh? Sanji, your cooking can quickly gather people from all around. It'll be perfect in finding people. Nami, a kunoichi? Focus, Sanji. Carrot and Chopper, you'll accompany Kiku as she goes to meet with Inurashi. Kinimo and I want to be a ninja too. Now then, put a leaf on your head. Here we go. Fuku, fuku no jutsu. And they're all in brand new clothes. Though Nami is in the skimpiest. <laughs> so, Carrot is in like a yukata, a short yukata with a, a scarf over her head. Brooke is in a outfit that makes him look like a ghost, complete with a little flap of paper that you normally see like Japanese ghosts with. Nami is in a super short, super revealing Yukata. Chopper is in a straight up Shinobi ninja gear. And Sanji's in like a pretty much wearing what Luffy's wearing as well. Ogling at Nami. Now then, after you've all acquainted yourselves with Wano, I'd like you to get to your missions. Wait, Kinemon, is this really what a Kunoichi looks like? Kunoichis definitely look like that. I get the feeling that you're lying, you know. Let me summon your guide, a real Shin Kunoichi. Shinobu! And out of a, all of a sudden, a real Kunoichi? This is going to be a treat. And then it's a, a rather unattractive stout woman jumping down. You called? She's not even close! Sanji's quivering in shock. What are you supposed to be, Brooke? I thought I was a guy wearing panties on his head. Probably not, though. It was one of two options. Hmm. Hmm. If I close this up, it should be fine. It should. St it should be fine. Yeah, because the way that Kinemon had her summoned in, her strap, her shoulder straps were just like draped off, and that's not how Nami wants to look. Onwards. <laughs> to be young. How wonderful. I am Shinobu. Oh, veteran Kunoji Shinobu. I was once known as Kinemon's little sister. Now, <laughs> my special technique is the voluptuous jutsu. What's the matter? If Nami wasn't here, I think my heart would have broken. I understand, boy. A ripe woman is a dangerous thing. <laughs> now then, until the appointed rendezvous time, please spread out to your respective areas. However, there are three people in particular that I want you all to find. 
Each is worth 100 men. Kawamatsu, Denjiro, and Boy Ashura. Hey, wait a minute. Wasn't Boy Ashura the one that Kozuki Odin defeated during his early years of being in Wano? Why would Kinemon want to recruit him? Once upon a time, those three served Lo Lord Odin as I did. As samurai, they should be alive. Huh. So apparently, when Kozuki Odin defeated Boy Ashura, he started working with Odin. Alright. Leftovers Town! It's the Head Mountain Bandits! Run! Get out of town! Give that back, Luffy Tuttle! Luffy Tuttle gave that to me! Shut up! And this random dude just kicks the lady out of the way. These guys got some pretty good stuff, Lord Shutenmaru. Fruits, alcohol, and rice, the uppity brats. Get that back. I wanted to feed it to my grandson. Shut it, you geezer. Drop dead already. Whoa, do we get to finally see who Shutenmaru is? Who the heck did all of this? Giving him food, playing the hero, eh? A fleeting dream that was. Head Mountain Bandit's leader, Shutenmaru. Uh... Dude's just a fat dude riding on a bull. We stole the food back, it's over. Besides, there's no samurai out here that want to protect these weaklings. This country doesn't even have any real men that could follow a strong samurai. Wano's done for. Right, Granny? Even if you live any longer, all those eyes will see is the cruelty of the world. Wait! Please stop, bandits! Granny, run! I'll cut it down. Grandma! I believe in the words of Lady Toki. She's dead. Nine samurai will come to make true Lord Odin's wishes. I know it. Idiot, they don't even have a leader. How they'll f ever fight? And someone... Someone's getting cut. What's going on? Someone's flying off. Yeah! Lord Shotenmaru! Someone's getting decimated. Lord Shotenmaru, that's... Who is it? <gasps> oh! <laughs> it's Jack! And this might be the first time I actually voice Jack. <clears throat> so we finally meet Bandit Leader. A pirate by the name of Straw Hat Luffy ought to have come to these parts. Hundred beasts, pirates, figurehead Jack. And he's riding on some sort of shark al- One of those shark alligators that we've seen earlier. That's as big as he is, and he's pretty much killed all the dudes around him with those uh, showtail swords he has. What if I said I never heard of him? What are you gonna do? The only reason you are still alive is because Kaido wants to make you one of his underlings. Alright then, here's my answer. Oh, uh, Shoten Maru's dead. Shoten Maru's dead and we just met him! What? Whoa! Hold up! Wait a minute! Yo! Shoten Maru just cut Jack! And Jack is coughing up blood! Who is this guy? This fat joker just cut into one of the calamities! What? Yo! Don't make light of a samurai. And Jack is coughing up blood. Lord Jack! You punk and they both start to clash one against one another this dude is holding his own against jack what a high level battle you ain't kidding get back shoot and maru and jack are having power have started fighting this is it leftover town is going to be reduced to rubble 
Whoa, this dude is holding his own against Jack. A goofer like you will never cut me down. I've outrun death. Lord Jack! Huh? Look! The sky! What about the sky? No way. Why? What? What is... What? What is going on? Why is the sky looking like it's about... Why is a storm forming over here? What's going on with the clouds? And every and Law's looking like, hmm? What's this all of a sudden? Rain? No. Oi, Straw Hat, come here. What's the matter, Traffy? Hold up, I gotta read through this. Huh? There's something in the sky. Ah. This is bad, Straw Hat, and everyone's running away. No bloody way. No bloody way. Why? Oi! Jack! Yes, sir. Bring those brats to me now. A dragon? What the heck is that? That's Kaido. On the edge of a huge twist, the demon chief himself appears. Whoa! Kaido is a dragon! A giant, fire-clad, eastern-style-looking dragon! Hundred Beast Kaido. Well, we see one of those hundred beasts he can turn into. Wow, okay. And this is the end of chapter 921 end. Wow, what a chapter. So much has been introduced. Okay, first of all, we find we see that Kinemon has got the plan already for them to uh, stage their attack on Onigashima, uh, which is only going to be on the day of the festival, like the fire festival, which is when all of the officials of the, of well, all of the officials that work for Orochi and all the subordinates that work for Jack work for Kaido, not Jack. Kaido are all going to join together and just have a big old massive banquet. Though to other people is going to look as if the uh, Orochi clan and all their subordinates and all their officials are just going to pray to Kaido for them. Because Kaido is seen as the protector of Wano. Like the master and protector of Wano. So they got the plan all together. Kinemon's got the plan all together. Fonosuke is going to get the blueprints for uh, Kaido's mansion. While uh, Robin is going to p position herself as a geisha so she can get closer to Orochi. Uh... And Zoro and Usopp are supposed to be, you know, rallying people, but Zoro's gone right now. And then we get in, and then Kinemon uses his own powers to give them all different clothes so they can do different things. Brooke is supposed to be helping gather food. Sanji's supposed to help cook food. Nami's supposed to be a Kunoichi. And Robert and uh, Chopper and Carrot are supposed to be, I guess he said, I think he said gathering some more people. I'm just paraphrasing right now. I'm not trying to be perfect with what, with my synopsis. But then we get introduced to uh, Shinobu, which is essentially Kinemon's sister. But I'm going to guess that she was very young before uh, when uh, Kinemon and the rest of them were all transported 20 years into the future. And apparently, I guess she's going to be working with Nami. To teach her how to be a Kunoichi in order to be more effective in her mission. Then we have uh, the folks of Leftover Town. All the food that Luffy left them with the food treasure ship is being taken by the uh, Mountain Head Bandits. Which is being headed by an individual named Shoten Maru. Shoten Maru. Which is essentially just like a big old fat samurai. And I thought he was just a slob and just lazy. But when one of his guys gets taken out by none other than Jack himself... Jack 
comes to, in order to invite Shotenmaru to become one of Kaido's underlings. Shotenmaru uh, rebuts this by slashing Jack in the chest. This is the first time we see Jack get damaged by something other than Zo. I mean, he pretty much got bodied by Zo when it knocked him into the ocean. Of course, he made him back his self back to Wano. But not even when he was faking Nekomamushi and Inurashi did we see him get damaged in any way. Because Shuten Maru damaged Jack, one of the calamities, one of the top people in Kaido's army, in Kaido's crew. Damaged Jack enough for Jack to cough up blood from the blow. And Shuten Maru's just, don't let the fatness fool you. That Joker is spry. And he's able to fight on par with Jack. And that's, that's saying something. So it makes me wonder how Luffy's going to stack up to the rest of the commanders. Makes me wonder how Luffy will stack up to Shuten Maru. Shuten Maru. But that's not the big thing about this chapter. The big thing about this chapter is what happens next. What happens next is we see Kaido come out of the clouds in the form of a giant Eastern style dragon. Telling Jack to bring those brats to him. And I'm guessing he... And I'm guessing he means Luffy and... I don't know. I don't know if he means Luffy and Law. But he says, bring those brats to me now. And it's like the fact... 100 Beast Kaido, we see one of his forms. If this is... If this just happens to be one of his forms, I wonder what the others could be. But the fact that he came out of the clouds in like a giant dragon form that looks like it has fire coming off of it like off of his body it's got me curious and we see the scar on his body literally that whole pattern that whole dragon scale pattern that was on his arm that's literally what his pattern is as a dragon and his big, big giant mustache is literally like the whiskers that you would see on a normal Eastern style dragon. And the horns he has on his head are not for show because they're also make up like his horns and antlers that, you know, Eastern style dragons are known for. And this was a four, and after seeing this, I'd never noticed this, but. Uh, Momonosuke turned into a dragon himself due to the amount of surprise because the last time he, we all know that since he doesn't have full control over his ability he tends to turn into his dragon form when he's ever, whenever he's shocked or surprised he did this when Doflamingo was making his way to the ship when they was at Dressrosa he, and now he's doing this after seeing Kaido this is wow is there anything else after this no, that is it. Wow, we actually get to see one of his forms. I really hope, I'm really wondering if this is actually one of his forms overall. Because he says he's he's named Kaido, 100 Beast Kaido. So, I wonder if this is just one form that he can take. But the fact that Jack, not only Jack, is in Leftover Town... But Kaido has made his way to Leftover Town to talk to Jack. And he's close enough for Law and Luffy to both see. For Luffy and Law to both see Kaido out there. I wonder what's going to happen next. Now that Kaido's there. What's going to happen to the people of Leftover Town? What's going to happen to Shooting Maru? I, I don't know, but... This is one big chapter to come back from. This, this, these, these, these break chapters, these chapters that we get from break. Why are they so good? Why? 
Why are they? Can you answer me this? Can can you answer me? Can can you answer me? Why why are they so good? There's no one over there. But overall, this was a phenomenal chapter. I thought it was great seeing Kaido in a giant dragon form. And here, people thought that dragon himself was gonna have a dragon form. Either that, or he was gonna have like a wind devil fruit. But seeing Kaido in that form, I guess that rules out that theory. But there's not much more I can say about this. I could, but then I'd be droning on. So, hope y'all enjoyed. I can't wait to see you all in the next video. So, have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples!